The economic implications now. There's no news story at the moment and that's why I'm here in our interview set. Every now and then I may lean back in my chair to let you know I've thought about these issues and I may also touch my face to let you know an important or extemporaneous question is coming up. I may lean forward and make an important point that is from this rolled up piece of paper. You've seen them. You know what they mean. I'm referring to the pile of books on economics, leadership and politics that I haven't read. And the coffee mug. These are your guarantees that you're going to get important and in-depth discussion. Every now and then if our guest is talking for a long period of time or as we go in and out of commercial, I may take a sip of water. That'll be something visually interesting for you to look at and it will be your signal that I'm just human, like you, and have human needs. Now these economic stories are far too important to have a guest. I don't like talking to experts, I don't ask very good questions, and frankly I'm not all that interested in what they have to say. So we're going to go right to the important, in-depth, substantial coverage, and I mean my voice over the visuals that will let you know you've looked at all sides of these issues. Pain at the pump. If you drive a gas guzzler, you may feel it in your wallet. How to make sense out of policies that affect you behind the wheel. And what about these students at this prestigious university? What are their prospects? Do the researchers and professors here have any answers? Do they have any questions? Will these cranes continue to be the national bird? Or will they become an endangered species as the cheap money they feed on becomes more and more scarce every time interest rates go up? And will any of this be different for this other crane? Or these? What about people who live in single family homes? Has the dream of home ownership become the impossible dream? And how about ordinary small business people who have to operate cash registers, make change, and make ends meet? Finally, we've been where you've been. Grocery stores, looking up and down the aisles at prices. And like you, we don't like what we see. And there you have it. A few wrap-up statements, perhaps, on stagflation, the history of supply-side economics, the Laffer curve, debt-to-GDP ratio, demographics, and so on. But what about the hidden costs, the things we don't know about, the people who've given up looking for work? These are the things we can't report on. We don't know about them. They're hidden. But just to let you know all is not doom and gloom in economic coverage, I'm going to end on a bit of a wry, witty note. You know, the balance of payments might end up being known as the imbalance of payments. And I say that just to let you know I haven't lost my sense of humor despite this gloomy coverage. And neither should you. Good night.